Oh, the last day of November already. Indeed. It's flying by. Indeed. <laughs> it's starting to feel like it, too. Have you put the plows on the trucks yet? <laughs> we have prepared. <laughs> Plan for the worst, hope for the best. <laughs> I'm just thinking if you didn't, then we'd have a blizzard, so just put put them on in July, so we'll be safe. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> we have a good team, as you know, down there, so we're always prepared. Yeah. Uh, how was your Thanksgiving? It was terrific. It really was nice. We had it, uh, went to the game, of course, which was very exciting. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has to be a winner and a loser, so, uh, but oh boy, oh boy, right down to the wire, the yeah. game. So that was fun, and of course have been dinner at home and then bounced around to some of the in-laws. Uh, it was a great day. Nice. How did uh, folks react to having all the uh, festivities back in uh, in Quincy for the holidays this year? I think people were thrilled. I, we could have, I, I think the crowds were tremendous at all events. Uh, the parade, which I've been in the parade probably for 50 years, uh, various roles, of course, <laughs> <laughs> not as mayor, but... I thought the crowds were larger than they have been probably in four and five years. So obviously we didn't have one last year with COVID, but right. um, it, it was uh, it was terrific. People were, were could tell were in the mood, they're in the spirit, and happy to be out and about. I think. Yeah, I think that's true. At at, at our location, right at uh, Marymount Park, at the Fountain, uh, there was a great crowd, and uh, and uh, the, all the performers stopped right in front of our cameras to perform for us. The the Shriners. Uh, all the bands, uh, so it was, it was a great time for sure. No wonder why we had gaps in the parade. <laughs> it's, it's all our fault, yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of the bands, hey, how about the combined uh, Quincy North Quincy band this year? Tremendous. Yeah. They, they're uh, they're so impressive uh, in numbers and appearance and sound. I mean, they've they've really done a remarkable job, and they bucked the trend because you know, most uh, high school bands are dropping, and and uh, and our band is thriving. So it's. Uh, Tribute to the leadership, the, the the parents involved, and of course the kids themselves. Tremendous. I couldn't help but think uh, that uh, Rich Keneally would have been so proud uh, to see them there. Oh, indeed, yeah. indeed. He he, uh, he was so talented himself, and so such a leader for so long in that area for our school system. But absolutely, would have been thrilled to see that. Yeah. And this year, Mayor, the fun isn't over yet. We have we have a new park. Well, we do. Uh, couple of things actually we we're Thursday night we've got uh um a good friend a rabbi coming over from Milton who's going to say a few prayers at the menorah and uh then of course we have tis the season concert Thursday night mm-hmm. uh, Quincy Symphony uh in conjunction with the Quincy Public Schools and and of course this this Sunday we've got three tree lightings in the city uh one of which I'm focused on which is at the General's Park and Bridge where we're going to be honoring uh, currently serving veterans and their families. So we invite them to join us. Uh, obviously, a lot of young men and women are serving uh, their country around the world and will not be home for the holidays. So we invite their families to come up and join us with free lighting, fill out a ribbon with the uh, individual's name who's serving, and the ribbon will go on the tree. And the tree will be dedicated in their honor. So it's mm. uh, kind of a cool it's a beautiful space. Obviously, we dedicate it back in September. Obviously, the military theme. So we thought that probably makes a lot of sense to, to tie in a currently serving with it. So we're uh, looking forward to that, and hopefully the words get around. Okay. The families will be with us. This coming Sunday, uh, December 5th at 5 p.m., you said? That's correct. Corner of Dunford and McConville. Uh, plenty of parking over there. Okay. And they fill out the tags at that time, not not beforehand? That's correct. Okay. We'll have uh, we'll have the bows all made out. Uh, we'll have the sharpies available. And mm-hmm. Individuals can then fill the name in on the tail of the bow, and then we'll we'll hang them on the tree. Okay, very good. Probably have some coffee and hot chocolate as well. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's similar to um, really similar to what they do in the blue room at the White House. I believe that tree every year is dedicated to the uh, servicemen and women. Okay. Well, it's appropriate. It really is, and we have such a military history here, military tradition here. I think it just, uh, it's a nice addition to our festivities for sure. sure. Very good. I also know How's Neck is lighting the tree at five and West Quincy is lighting a tree at five on the same day. So busy time. Indeed. Yeah. I believe there's a ceremony at the Four River Rotary. I think that's on Saturday. Saturday, um, correct. Yeah. Quincy well. Point folks. Yeah. So lots going on this time of year for sure. <laughs> Indeed. 
Can we chat a little bit, Mayor, about uh, your decision to once again waive the liquor license renewal fees uh, for Quincy businesses? Yes, that's, um, you know, the, the restaurants and, and the clubs, uh, they're certainly bouncing back and, and, and doing well, but we thought we'd give them one more year, uh, a little bit of a reprieve to help them. You know, they, they dealt with a lot of losses. Uh, you know, they, the margins are difficult and challenging in that business to start with, so we felt one more year uh, to help them get through what's been a very difficult 18 to 20 months for them, particularly in that world and that business. So it, um, I know it goes a long way. We get a lot of good response from it. Um, obviously, we're, we want to be business friendly. We want to keep people to, to uh, succeed, of course. Our local businesses uh, obviously hire a lot of people. They pay taxes. They support all the local charities and the sports programs, and they're a big part of our community. So we thought it would be a, a nice gesture to do it the second year to help them to continue to get back on their feet. Well, it's it's a it's a two thousand dollar fee, so that can be a big help to a small business for sure. That's right, yeah. absolutely, it adds up. So, are you concerned at all about the loss of the revenue? No, and you know, in the scheme of things, uh, Joe, it's um, you know, I mean, every dollar adds up, but sure. Um, you know, in the scheme of things, it's a very small amount for what we feel is an investment back in our business community. Um, I, I think it's very very worthwhile. Very good. I know last week we talked, Mayor, a little bit about um, the property tax rate that uh, I'm sure your office is formulating. Any more news on that for us? No, we're almost we're almost there. Okay. We're uh, going through the various iterations. What's, what complicates it a little bit is our pension obligation bonds, which we're in the final stage of, and uh, getting that all done. We've been dealing with the state administration and finance. We've been dealing with our... Uh, outside counsel, our outside advisor, outside bankers. Uh, but that has a play this year in how we set the tax rate because of the savings there that we'll be enjoying. So um, so we're still working it, and uh, we'll be before the city council very soon with it, of course. Uh, but I'm not ready to release the numbers quite yet, Joe. Okay. Very good. Anything else we should uh, let folks know about right now? Um. I don't know, think so. Enjoy the enjoy the holiday weather, and uh, I mean the holiday season, and enjoy the weather because we know at some point it's going to change, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are already rumblings about uh, some kind of a system next week, so yeah, <laughs> it's it's oh, a, well. it's a we're on borrowed time at the moment. Sure, it happens every year. <laughs> Indeed. Good to talk to you, Mayor. Thanks for your time. Thank you, yep. Bye bye.